you had eight years of George W. Bush, now almost eight years of Barack Obama, rather different in their policies toward the Middle East, to say the least. How, how do these two very opposed but very Middle East involved regimes of ours look in the region? Either one. How do they look different in the region in terms of how they're perceived? Well, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, how do they look different? Is, is the Iraq war a sort of original sin level mistake from which many consequences follow? The perception among some here that Obama has been too passive and too disengaged, is that shared in the region? Yeah, and I think there are more commonalities probably than differences in terms of uh, how the two um, no, That's counterintuitive areas. too. Yeah. <laughs> so please yeah. elaborate. Well, I mean, you know, there is distrust of America. There is distrust of uh, uh, the U.S. and its foreign policy. And, you know, that goes back uh, to a very long time. There were periods of hope and certainly Obama... Uh, coming into the White House um, and the Cairo speech created a lot of hope, which then resulted in much disappointment, uh, if you will. Um, the I don't know if Nick would agree. This Nick would agree with me that uh, uh, probably conspiracy theory was originated in the Middle East. I mean, you know, it's, I think it's it's a. But everything is sort of a conspiracy and everything becomes an American um, Zionist conspiracy. So I think there is more and more what I sense in that part of the world is that people don't distinguish between uh, one U.S. leader versus another or one party versus another to a very large extent. Um, I think there is certainly anger and resentment of the United States for... Um, the 2003 invasion of Iraq, uh, but I would say also there is, perhaps if not equal, uh, but significant anger for the way that Obama has exited Iraq. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a sense that uh, um, of irresponsibility, if you will, um, toward the region. Uh, you know, on Syria, you have uh, different uh, schools of thought and different uh, opinions on what the United States. Uh, should be doing, but there is um, an overall sense that uh, there has been uh, an abandonment. Um, yeah. I mean, just to follow uh, follow on from your idea of commonality, I agree that we were talking earlier that there are there there are major differences. But if there is one commonality which I think many in the region do see coming out of both the Bush administration and the Obama administration, um, it's the, that. Um, there's been a sort of a common ass assault from both on the, for want of a better word, either the Sunni clients or the Sunni satraps, which were ruling the um, uh, Middle East for, for, for so long. Um, the overthrow of Saddam Hussein um, allowed, uh, and the uh, 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 staging of elections in, in Iraq allowed for the Shia majority to take control, particularly in the south. Um, the uh, um, uh, the the, the follow-on from the Obama administration would be to see the downfall of um, other Sunni dictators in the region, um, particularly uh, um, uh, Gaddafi, um, and uh, you know, following on from that, the deal with um, uh, the, the the nuclear deal with, with with Iran. It's almost as if there's been consistent opening of doors to Sh Shia power in the region and a closing off um, to Sunni power. Um, I think that's a vast oversimplification of what is actually happening, but I think that perception that somehow America is abandoning um, its Sunni allies in the region is very much upper par uh, uppermost in the minds of um, many Sunni leaders that still survive in the region. <laughs>